Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Zosha. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to place a design onto a t-shirt or other fabric in Photoshop. So this is great for creating merch mock-ups. There are different ways that you can do this in Photoshop, but I'm gonna show you a technique that I personally use a lot and is relatively beginner friendly. So in this video, I'm gonna cover how to remove an existing design, how to do some light color correction on the photo, and then I'll show you how you can place your design and some tips on how to make it look more realistic. For this tutorial, I'm using a photo I found on Pexels by the photographer Becca Correa. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove the existing design. So I'm going to make sure the layer is rasterized by right-clicking and rasterize layer. And I'm gonna use this new Photoshop tool called Remove Tool. It's right below the spot healing brush. And all you have to do is paint over the design. and it is very seamlessly removed. Because I'm creating a merch mock-up, I want the colors to be really neutral and not have this warm tone like the photo currently has. So I'm gonna do some color correction on it and I'm gonna turn this back into a smart object and then go up to filter and camera raw filter. And I'm gonna start by adjusting the white balance. So grab the eyedropper tool and try clicking on a few places that bring the color to a more neutral place. And then I'm just gonna make a few other adjustments. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. So I'll press okay. And now I'm gonna place my design on top and press command T to adjust it to about the right placement. And if you right click, you can select distort to change the angle. Okay, that looks like about the right position. Now I'm gonna use liquify so that the design can move with the folds in the fabric. First, I'm going to bring the opacity of the layer down so that it's easier to see the folds underneath. And I'm gonna to go to filter and liquify. I'm gonna make sure I have show backdrop selected down here and bring down the opacity. And hold control option and drag the mouse right and left to change the size of the brush. And now I'm going to move the design so it looks like it's folding with the fabric. If you ever feel like you've overdone the liquefying liquefaction, if you ever feel like you've overdone it, you can go to this second tool, the reconstruct tool, and it will slowly bring it back to the original form. And I like to do a little bit of just kind of arbitrary movement, so it's not also perfectly straight. Okay, so press OK. And I'll bring the opacity back up. And I'm gonna do some more adjusting on this fold here. So I'm gonna double click back into the liquify and I can adjust it here. It can also be helpful to use this smooth tool right here. It'll just smooth out all of your adjustments.
Next step is adding some texture. So I'm gonna use a displacement map to do this. So I'm gonna select the photo layer, select all by hitting Command A, copy, and then Command N to create a new file and that will use the dimensions that I just copied. So press OK and then paste the photo here. And then I'm gonna save this as displacement. Okay, and then go back to the other file. And with the design layer selected, I'm going to go to filter, distort, and displace. And I'll just use the default settings. Then click the displacement file that we just created. Now you can see it's using the t-shirt texture to displace the design. So it looks like it's printed onto the t-shirt. And I think this might be just a little bit too much, so I'm gonna click back into the displace here. Let's turn it down to five and five. Press okay and same file. And that's a little bit more subtle. Now I wanna make it look like the design is a little bit more worn into the t-shirt. So I'm gonna double click into the design layer. I'm gonna go down to the blend if section and holding down option, drag the right side of this arrow up until you see it start to fade like this. So this makes the design fade out only in the darker areas of the t-shirt. And if you wanna make it look more vintage, then you can make it more faded. So I think that's a good amount overall. Press OK. Now the design is overlapping with the necklace here, so I'm going to add a mask to the design layer by clicking down here. And I'm going to use a brush set to black. Hardness all the way up and paint off where it's overlapping with the necklace. Now I think it fades out a little bit too much in some of the darkest places on the t-shirt. So I'm going to duplicate the design layer by hitting Command J. I'm gonna double click into this layer and remove these adjustments here. And I'm gonna turn the opacity down so that I like how it looks in these the folded areas. And then with the mask selected, I'm gonna use a brush with zero hardness and turn down the opacity. And paint it off of these lighter areas. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.